baby. Packed in your stack, especially in the back, brother. I wanna thank your mother for a butt like that. You're a when I got the gig for Deadpool, I. I talk to a lot of people in the industry, being older has its benefits and that you know a lot of people and I'm not ashamed to admit I don't know everything so I go out and I ask questions and one of the people I ask questions to is David Fincher. Um, I've known him for a long time and I was talking about what he thought was the best editorial package to use. Coincidentally, he had just finished using Adobe Premiere to cut Gone Girl and David saying what a good experience he had led me to say, well, you know, I want to I, I want to do that too. So the idea that Adobe uh, Premiere, this new version, was built for scratch with filmmakers um, who are very picky and discerning made me believe that it was going to be a product that was going to have some legs. It's going to be here for a while. It's going to be great. And I wanted to work in the future. I don't want to go with the past. And so Premiere seemed like a, a, the perfect choice for us. You know, one of the biggest things for us when we heard about what the new Premiere could do was its interoperability with Adobe After Effects. It's a really fast and effective integration with the editing pipeline where we can do slap comps, we can quickly pull green screens, we can put things together for temps um, that convey the story quickly and accurately. And, you know, rather than going to another package and then having to re-import it, and then if you need to change, you have to go back and you have to... It just seems uh, so much more streamlined to have it all integrated where you just have in our place, it's literally the editor can just open the door and yell down the hall, hey, that comp, you know, I need it. Can you run it again? Because we changed some elements and can you redo something? And it's a really interactive process for us. Uh, what we need in an, in an editing package is really an uninterrupted flow between uh, the idea and the output. So anything that gets in the way from going, this is what I want to there it is, uh, is a bad thing. Um, you have to be able to do the basics really well. Um, you have to be able to put together footage, do cuts only, do quick dissolves uh, in a really organized and efficient way. And then comes the icing on top. Then comes the layering. Then comes the After Effects interactivity. And you want it to be solid. You can't have it crashing all the time. And I think with the system, it's pretty clean and fast to get from this is what I want to there it is.